Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to um, kind of tell you why I haven't been around recently. So, um, might be a long story. So, I don't know if many of you have really paid attention or anything to like that. I think I've mentioned before, but my mom uh, had dementia and... Um, for the last like five years she has really declined with that um it her dementia really started getting more advanced after my dad passed away five years ago that's when i really started my to notice myself you know that she was for, forgetting and it got gradually worse um to the point where um she would get so angry at me she would corner me and she had hit me before but nothing too bad but being the only person in the house with with her sometimes it wasn't very comfortable because she could get angry so quickly you know you'd say the say the wrong thing she'd she'd flip out and just like get so angry um like the last year was probably the worst year especially when I started um dating Scott um my, my boyfriend she would get so angry and so I want I don't want to say jealous but see she just acted like she was jealous that why are you going out you know why can't you stay home with me you know it's like I couldn't live my life. And, you know, I had this, you know, I had to like juggle her work and him. And he has his own problems, you know. He also takes care of his mother. She has physical ailments, not mental ailments. So, it's been hard for him, too, because he took care of his dad and his stepdad, who they've, they have passed away, um, and they were, they were sick. And he's always been, like, a caregiver, and he's never really had, I guess, anybody that understands the way I do. That's how we re uh, reconnected. We went to high school together, and um, we just kind of reconnected with... With that, he had just gone through a bad breakup with a girl that he had been seeing for like nine years, and and um, he wanted to reconnect with me, and we did, and so I'm engaged to him now. I I think I've he he proposed um, last year, so or the year before. Uh, we've been together at least a year. <laughs> um, but yeah, it it's been a struggle with um with her the last five years. Um, it got to the point where uh, in November I made the decision to put her in a home because she was getting so out of control. Like, I mean, going to the neighbor's house, complaining about um things that just were not true kind of making a nuisance of herself um she would she the, what really made my decision was she had left the house i wasn't home and the nurse that came out to sit with her while, while i was at work wasn't there that particular day so she got she wandered out of the house went a couple blocks down to where uh, my grandfather's old residence was and just started like losing her crap because they wouldn't let her in. She was banging on the door, screaming, yelling to the point where the homeowners were so freaked out that they called the cops on her. So the cops took her to um, an urgent care and they they couldn't get a hold of me because I didn't have my phone on me. 
because I was at work, so that they ended up calling my aunt, who lives out of state, then my aunt touched base with me and let me know, hey, you know, your mother's in the hospital. I'm like, what? <laughs> so I had to go get her, and they explained to me what happened. She had no recollection of even doing what she did, so that was when I made the decision to talk to her doctor, let him know what's going, what was up. And we both decided that it was a good idea to get her into a home because neither of us wanted her to, um, hold on. So anyway, um, her doctor and I made the decision to put her in a home. I chose a private uh, facility just because the big facility, I don't think she would get the care that she needed. So, um, put her in the home in December. She wasn't thrilled when she figured out what was going on. Um, it was pretty bad for a while. I mean, <laughs> I went to see her um, on Christmas Eve and she, it just wasn't a good visit. So, um, I decided that because she was just so angry and not very kind, I, I didn't want to go for a little while just to get her calmed down and maybe get routine started for her. Um, the, the home ended up moving her into, um, the dementia unit of, uh, of hospice care because her dementia was so advanced and they couldn't get her calmed down. So they had to give her medication and get her routine started at, in hospice before they were able to return her back to the um, memory care facility. Um, she contracted COVID while, while she was there and that really um, declined her uh, physical health to where after she got over the COVID, she was just tired all the time. Um, she couldn't, uh, she couldn't stand up very long to take a shower. So she needed aid taking a shower. Um, eventually her symptoms got worse to where she was uh, bedridden a, a lot because she just didn't have the strength to sit up. So I, they um, ordered her a wheelchair to maybe like they can push her out to the garden or something, something so she wouldn't just be sitting in a room all day. But she couldn't even enjoy that because by that point, it was, she was so declined that she couldn't even sit in the chair because she was so like, everything was shutting down on her. It was, you know, her body was, like, going, so everything hurt her. She couldn't even sit in the chair or sit up. So, she had been declining really rapidly um, by the end of uh, March to the point where they were like, she doesn't have much longer. Um, we want her to be comfortable. Would it be okay? to start uh, on her on some morphine just to take that edge off. And I'm like, okay, I don't want her to suffer, you know, because at that point she didn't know who I was, didn't know who her brother was or her sister was or nobody. She had no recollection of who anybody was anymore. So um, I made the decision to have her put on morphine that was on um, a Thursday and um, the day after Easter um, they had given me a call and said that she she um, wasn't doing well at all and um, she didn't have very much time left and Myself, personally, I did not 
want to see her struggle or anything like that because I didn't want those memories. You know, I would have to live with that the rest of my life, seeing her struggle or anything like that. I, I didn't want that for her. I wanted to remember her the way she was before she got dementia. So, um, I decided not to go see her because I didn't want to see her suffer or struggle. So, um, Tuesday morning they called me and they said she had passed away that morning at four o'clock. So, my mom died on April 2nd of this year. So, I've just been trying to get stuff, you know, together. Um, I was fortunate enough that, um, she had some money put aside to where I was able to pay for funeral expenses. Um, she was cremated. Um, I, I did, I do have her urn now at home. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've been, I just didn't feel like filming for a while, and then after mom passed away, I didn't feel like filming until now, and I'm still kind of like, I don't know, um, like in denial that she's gone, you know? I mean, I know she is, but it just really hasn't hit me until, pro well, not just now, I mean, well, maybe, I don't know. First time I actually got emotional over it, so. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's where I've been. I've been just trying to get my house uh, together and cleaned up and, I mean, not that it was dirty, but, um, uh, upgrades because I, I still live in my childhood home. And my parents never really upgraded anything, and it's, um, I just had, um, actually, the day after mom died, I had electricians out here because half my house, <laughs> uh, lost power. So, um, they had to fix that. That was a big expense. I was fortunate enough to have the money to fix that, or else I would be, you know, living in a house that didn't really work. So, um, been dealing with that and dealing with, um, you know, going through my mom's things and I still have some of my dad's things and even some of my grandma's things. I've been just trying to organize my house, make it my own, and I've been busy doing that and just, just trying to chill because, you know, it's, it's a lot because I don't really have any family out here and. I mean, yeah, Scott's my family, but, you know, you, I'm sure you guys know what I mean. I, I just feel like I'm, I'm alone, and it's not the greatest feeling. So, doing YouTube and stuff, it wasn't a priority, because, you know, I'm still trying to go through all this stuff, and... I just really haven't grieved properly, and I don't know. I'm just a rambling mess, so I apologize for this video, but I wanted to kind of touch base, base with you guys that are wondering, hey, what happened to her? So that's what happened to me. My, my mom passed away, and I'm just trying to pick up the pieces of my life. <laughs> trying to move on and do stuff for me, and things like that. So, um, anyway, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. I'm sorry if I've, uh, I'm just sorry for the, for, you know, not being here and stuff like that. So, um, anyway, hope you guys have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.